I use WhatsApp, I go out, I take photographs, I send them on, I love my photography, and that kind of defeats the purpose of the language barrier. A lot of people ask me about the language barrier problem that I may have when I go to Russia. Now, five years ago, when I first got in touch with my birth parents, yes, it was a little bit difficult and I knew no Russian at all. But over time, I've been able to learn the alphabet. Um, I've been able to say a few sentences and been able to have a few basic conversations with my birth parents. Now, I have a very close friend over in Russia and she helps with the translations now when I am in Russia. She's done a great job, thank you so much. Um, and she's always there for when I am in Russia. When I'm with my birth parents, it's always more like the body language kind of speaks for itself. And when you have so much emotion with meeting your birth parents, it does speak for itself. When I met my birth parents for the first time, there were a lot of things that were unable to be spoken in any language. So over time with meeting my birth parents, I've picked up the language a bit. I've been able to speak a few little sentences here and there. I can say, hello, how are you? Um, how's your family? How's your work? Um, basic, basic little conversations. And then they'll say, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, ni mana, you know, normal, um, you know, not too bad, ni ploha, sort of basic things like that. But when I have been in Russia, I've been able to pick up the language faster than using an app or using Google Translate. And it's because it's around you all the time. And for the first two years of my life, of course, I was only exposed around the Russian language. So I believe that I did know a little bit when I was two years old, but I lost most of it growing up. And it is very important for me to pick up that language. I should be learning it very in depth, but I'm around English all the time, but I'm doing what I can. I know that one day I will be able to sit down with both of my birth parents and have an in-depth conversation. Um, and my mum and dad also want to do the same, obviously through a translation. And they think it's incredible. And we think it's pretty cool that we can still communicate with the technology nowadays and things like that. I use WhatsApp, I go out, I take photographs, I send them on. If I send a photo, it's, there's no language needed. I send a photo, of course I need to describe what it is, of course, I didn't think of that, didn't think of that next time. How's the language barrier? Is it a struggle? Is it, is it hard? Is it very difficult? But when I've been in Russia, I've had days without anybody being able to translate and it hasn't been such a big problem. I've been able to use Google, we use Google a lot, but I've been able to pick up and learn a lot of Russian while I've been in Russia. So it just takes practice and learning and commitment and that's one thing I need to practice on a lot. So thank you for watching this video and thank you for following my journey and following my life. You can subscribe to my channel. You can check out more videos. I will be posting all the time. You can check out me on Facebook and Instagram as well. So thank you very much. Over and out. That's how you film a sunset. Beautiful, just beautiful.